Hey everyone, it's Nicholas Wilton at Art to Life. I'm here at Esalen, um, teaching the Esalen workshop. It's actually the last night, the night before the last day. And I'm here with my daughter also, this is Hannah. Hello. And we've been, um, she's been helping me assist teach, which is really great. But I want, what I wanted to talk about uh, today is um, mark making um, besides using a brush. Because when you use a brush, it tends to make the same kind of mark. And you can really get down, you can really control it. But if you use a tool that is, uh, takes your hand out of it, it's kind of like using the paintbrush, holding it at the end, you kind of lose some control and it makes a fresher mark. It has a little less you in it. The trowel is fantastic. I use this all the time. And I realized, uh, you know, teaching it this week that a lot of people have never used a trowel and there's kind of some ways, sort of basic ways to get a really nice finish. And I thought I could draw it for you and explain how you do this, and it has to do with pressure, and I'll sort of demonstrate it. So if you have a trowel, this is your trowel, that's your blade here, so we're on the side there, and you know, this is what we're looking at here, is the side of the trowel, like that. You know, here's that. So you wanna be, and here's your board, and here's all your paint in here. You wanna be kind of putting pressure down a little bit on that, like a little, a little angle. You don't want it flat and dragging it across, it won't work. You wanna squish the paint down and drag it along, but not too much, because you wanna end up with this really fine layer of paint. So it gets this really smooth, smooth surface. So let me demonstrate how you do this. Um, okay, so give me that panel, this, this plain one, and we'll flip it over. Okay, hold this for a second. So I'm just gonna put some paint on it first, First, I want to show you, if I, if I painted a red mark, like if I want to make a shape, you can see like this, I'm trying to make kind of a cool shape or whatever. And that's by hand. But if I do it with a trowel, so I put some paint on here, and I can come in with a trowel, hand me the trowel for a second. Here's the paintbrush, okay. Uh, so I can come in, and so here's that pressure. I'm pr pressing down, not too hard, but just enough, and it just just makes this amazing. You know, not always, but it. You can see how. Like it's just a shape that n I would never make, and there's just it's beautiful. It's how the material, the material is being itself basically, and my hands taken out of it. So now I'm going to show you how to just get a really great surface on this. I'll put more paint on it. I'll do this to like prime the whole board and get it so it's really smooth to work on. So I'll just put this on. Now if I push too hard, I start scraping and it, I lose all the thickness of the paint. We don't want to do that. We want to get the, the thickness of the paint is all, see how it's all on the top of the blade there? That's where I'm, I'm not even touching the back of the blade down. I'm putting it at this angle here. So I'm coming across and I'm just loading it across. I'm hardly pushing down at all. And it just makes for like amazing, amazing surfaces. And so it's smoothing out. And so it just it has, a, like that's really thick paint and it just goes on. You look at it, I'm not even having any on the back of the trowel. If I tried to do it, if I tried to do it flat, it, just, it doesn't work. It really doesn't work very well. You have to kind of, you, you know, I establish the thickness of the paint. Okay, and then, um, here, no. and then if we can do a, um, here, why don't you put some uh, paint on that, just some drops or whatever, just put some paint. We're gonna, because it's so thick, it really, um, here, I'll let you do it. Okay. Here, hold it vertical. It's kind of tricky because you gotta make it so people can see it. And just, yeah, not too hard, yeah. Yeah, not too hard, yeah, there you go. Like it just makes an amazing first jab and you can wipe off the extra paint. Yeah, beautiful. So it's just a great way to start and get build up the paint that's super thick on there 
and you didn't even use a paintbrush to do that. You can do also on this, because it's so thick and clean, you can draw back into it and you just get this amazing lines. That was cool. This is a really great thing to try. What you have to do though also on the trowel is make sure you wipe that paint off because it sticks really, um, it stays on there and you've got to have this really, really clean. Anyway, I hope that's helpful and um, I hope you have a great Sunday and your painting's going really good. We'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye.